so we're winging it. We're winging it. We're winging it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's running off of our battery, so it's running off solar. Correct. That is so crazy, it's working! Oh my goodness! I look literally like one color. It's okay, we don't have to this? touch it much. So the LEDs are going. All we had to do was, we had originally, and you guys have seen, we ran all the lines from our back garage wall up through our side walls. We had pre-planned to plug these in right here at this spot. All we had to do is plug them in. Now we're trying to hook up the 12 volt on the fridge. Actually, right now, I wanna fix these outlets so we can get the AC power going so we can plug the fridge in so we can have cold, bevies in here while I was working. just thinking bevies as well good morning guys and welcome back to Sean and Ash we are turning the school bus into our first home so subscribe and come along for the ride I'm super sweaty because I just ran to the bus actually it was about four miles you saw last week we got our entire solar setup going really really exciting today our plan is to install an air max fan in the front of the bus we bought it yesterday from an RV store we were having an issue with our charge controller. I guess Sean had to go online and watch some YouTube videos on just how to format it. I guess you have to get the settings right. It was showing that our batteries were only charging up to like 30% so we went to bed kind of worried last night but we came back today 100%. We are at full charge capacity. This is the Dometic fan. It's gonna go on our ceiling between our couches. We just figured if we got this done now, it would make every other job that much cooler. So, gotta cut another hole. Woo! All right, put our Max fan right here, right in front of the skylight. I used the rivets, I just counted it up. It was like 10 on each side, and then I met it in the middle. Need to figure out where the beam ends here, because some of the beam, this is the side of the beam, and then this is the side of the beam. This is just one. So I'm trying to figure out why they did that, and where the end of the beam is, because I want to screw into the end of it. I'm going to use this to get my square. Alright, there's our square. I'm gonna need the grinder. Huh? It's smoking? I feel like this hole looks small. Yeah, throw that knife. Make sure the blade's out. Jeez! Wow, nice job. Hey, that's where our fan's gonna be. I had to knock out these rivets here in order to self-tap into the beam. That's the wood. Probably using this bad boy. Thank you, babe. All right, let's see how this works. Turn it one time this way. Like this, right? Yep, there you go. Hi! What do you think? Oh, it looks cool. It's already bringing in air. This butyl tape and the lap sealant doesn't stick to Henry's Tropical. I guess we're learning from Gilligan Phantom's mistakes. Shout out. So I'm just going back and scraping off the Henry around where the fan's gonna sit. Woo! 
we had previously run a line already that goes all the way from our DC fuse box in the back, runs along the side of the bus. Now it's going up through the ceiling and it'll be there for our fan. Crimp Johns. So which one's the power and which one's the ground? This is Take power. Take a guess. This is power. You got it. This is ground. E it just puts, you know, a connector on like this. You strip, put a connector on, work, unless you have a fuse through it. So we have to put a fuse in there before it can work. Let's listen for a beep. We cut this down. We had such a problem with this. It goes in, but only like that much. So we actually had to cut it. And then cut whatever was left. And I used the jigsaw, it worked like a charm. Something's broken. Oh my gosh. Oh, for sure. This is funny. It works. Oh, it works. Ooh, all right. This thing is running. It's not quite cold yet. It's actually not getting cold at all. We got our 110 set up here line coming from the inverter up through the breaker box now my question was am i allowed to pigtail off of my power because this is only six two wires so there's only two conductors and a ground can i pigtail into both sides of the panel now i was told there was no problem i was only going to get 120 out of the box so that's all i really needed the reason I wanted to do it is because I needed the four circuits I want to set up and there's only three on each side. Yeah, this is my pigtail. This is extremely temporary. I'm, I'm going to cover this up with some heat shrink and, you know, it got me excited. So let's see if this circuit that I just wired in works. Just started to rain every day in Florida. Every day it rains. So I tried cutting this hole with a grinder. Believe it or not, our inverter actually switched off when I was trying to cut the hole. So... Ronnie! <laughs> Big ol' Ronnie. I didn't measure it correctly, so it's actually behind that wall there. So I'm gonna have to finagle the wires to the right spot. Yeah. This hole is pretty ugly looking, but it's all gonna be covered up. I didn't have a hole drill that was big enough, so I cut the edges with the grinder. I had to make it work, but we got ourselves a hole. Drill a hole through the wall, and I ran our RV grid inlet. There it is. And then this wire just goes up into the inverter. Now, I'm gonna try and show you one-handed how I'm gonna wire this. For that. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Let me pull that back. Here we go. Ground neutral hot. Gonna be putting those holes and then this will be mounted on the side of the bus. Our plan for today, we're gonna get a quick workout in and then head to the store, get a few snacks, and then go head over to the bus and just... Flex again. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll meet you guys back at the bus. We're here at Mark Camp with the founder and creator of the gym, Monk's Alimony. So Monk, what, what was the initial reason behind the gym? Where's the dream? Where'd that come from? Muscles. Muscles. Okay. okay. I really Muscle. wanted muscles. I feel like I need to get in shape. I'm getting old and it's time. Okay. But you know me, it's got to be aesthetically right. So yeah. hence the wood. Yes, let's take Gotta a... Do the wood. We have rocks here, down here. Each one of these rocks, is, I'm going to weigh them, put the number on it, the metal basket. And we have a pulley there. We're going to add another one. Yeah. 
and muscular development set aside. Mm -hmm. Does this do anything else for you spiritually? Yeah, I think so. It's going to be a good meditation spot, place to get away. If you get if you come in here and you can't get done what you need done, it's on you. That's right. You know what I'm saying? It's on you. It's on you. You're not putting the work in. And you see this rock here? I chose this because you can grab it with your thumb like that. And Mark, tell them about the wall. What's going on in the wall here? Oh, this, we're going to have a wall right here, climbing wall. So we're going to have a rock wall and it's going to extend that way so you can go sideways just in case you're afraid of heights, yeah. which I am. You heard it here. Mark can't. Opening. Peace out. Are we almost done here? Legend. Let's go get our snacks. Waters. Gatorades. This? Okay. Just Yep. Okay, so. Liquid aloha. The essentials. I see it right here. Oh, I read shit. your story, and it made me get my ass out then. <laughs> Come on. 4K in. Woo! Look at you, girl. Our first plant. Wow. What's its name? Uh, Suck on that, you like? Oh, I was thinking Louie. Louie. It was $12 from Publix, everybody. Well, it's a cool pot. I will say that. That's weird. Oh, so that's the fridge saying that. I'm wondering why this went off. Because I had it on nine. So maybe last night it ran out of power Wait, and shut the inverter off. I don't know if you can hear me over the rain, but this is the best part. New goals for the bus. We have electrical working. There are outlets working in the bus now. I think Sean's actually about to use a tool. I can pause if you want to. So our biggest goal is to technically become an RV. Be registered as um, a motorhome. And that's because that's what will allow us to begin legally traveling around. I believe the requirements are different state to state. So I'm not necessarily gonna say how you get them, but for us to get ours, we know that we need a minimum of working electricity, working water, and working. What was that? I was just like, what's that? And working, <laughs> and working gas. We have our pipes run. We have our electricity working. That means the water pump can work. For us to be able to test the water, we need sinks. We need to kind of build in our cabinetry. And for our gas to work, we have to set up our stove in the kitchen. The first thing we have to do is go through and we're gonna replace most of our exterior lighting. That's because a lot of the lights are just old, they're dim. We wanna put LEDs in them so that we just don't have to worry about them again. Finish the insulation and like the front and the back of the bus. Do you wanna sit down? Sure. Our next goal is to just finish the entire inside of the bus so so that you don't see any of this insulation. When it starts looking like an actual house in here. So we're winging it. We're winging it. We're winging it. <laughs> Back. Thank you guys for 900 subscribers. We're at 903 as of today. Hitting 1000 has been a really big goal of both of ours. We're really excited to keep growing and sharing with new <coughs> friends. Holy smokes. Whoa. Sharing with new friends. It's not too small. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Oh no. <laughs>